Alright everybody, this is Craig S1996 Television, and I have decided to now start fresh and new with my run of Jeopardy for the PS1 uh, console. And so far, in my last run, I ended up uh, winning $6,500 in just three games, but lost on the fourth game because... The computer players had better luck than I did. But we're going to see if I can try and answer some more questions today. As this thing can go. Okay, come on. Try it again, shall we? Most of the time I like to film my uh, original PS1 games on my PS1 console. Mainly because, because that's how I like to do it. But here we go. This is Jeopardy for the PlayStation 1 console. Hopefully I can answer some questions. Here we go. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gill. Okay, set the game up exactly the way you like. Computer players. All right. Player one, what's your name? I just put. I just uh, stay as a uh, uh, non uh, nameless because I want to like uh, get through this uh, quickly. I already wasted uh, two minutes uh, just to get this game work working on my PS One. So here we go. Here we go. Welcome to another game of Jeopardy. Thank you, Ox. Let's see if we can get some good categories in this game. Hopefully we do. Let's get to the first round category. U.S. Geography. U.S. Geography. Poetry. Poetry. Food facts. Food facts. TVs of the 90s. TV of the 90s. Who? Who? And birds. In quotation marks. Birds. Let's get things underway, player one. I'm going to say TV of the 90s for 100. 1998 saw this NBC sitcom with Jerry, Elaine, George, and Kramer sign off the air. What is Seinfeld? That's right. Yep. TV of the 90s for 200. On his show, Kathy Kinney plays Mimi, a contentious co-worker in Blue Eye Shadow. What is Drew Carey?
please. You are correct. All right, three hundred dollars. All right, pick again. All right, three hundred for TV on the nineties. The apartment complex located at forty six sixteen on this title L A street is home to some foxy ladies. <laughs> I'm thinking the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, never mind. It's a soap opera. Melrose Place. All right, pick again. Okay, TV of the '90s for 400. <laughs> Why do you have to give me the Daily Double? One hundred dollars. She plays Roma Downey's angel boss on Touched by an Angel. Player one. Yeah, uh, CBS much, but I don't know. Good guess, but that's incorrect, unfortunately. Why do you think I wagered only $100? Here is the correct response. Who is Del Reese? All right, pick again. Okay, TV of the 90s for 500 In 1997, this show's live season premiere drew 43 million viewers to NBC. Oh, boy. I'm either thinking of a Anyone? sitcom or I'm thinking... E Ow! You piece of crap. I knew it was ER. All right, pick again. <sighs> Should have known that. Okay, food facts for 100. The traditional sauce served with roast lamb contains confectioner sugar, vinegar, and these leaves. The traditional Square three. Never mind. What are mint leaves? Correct. Your choice, player three. Food facts for 200. A Genoise is a light sponge cake whose name is derived from this city. Genevieve? I'm thinking Genevieve if it's Genoise. Derived from the city. What is Geneva? Mm, regrettably, no. It's not Geneva. Anybody? Not so sure. Here is the correct response. It was Genoa, not Geneva. Your choice, player three. You were close, though. Food facts for 300. Fanny Farmer's recipe for beef a la Lindstrom calls for two of these boiled and mashed. Player one. What are potatoes? It's either potatoes or eggs. No. Please be potatoes. Yes. All right. Your choice, player one. Okay. Food facts for four hundred. Jan in the sock or John in the bag is a dessert from this African country. Jan de sack or John in the bag is a desert from this African country. What is South Africa? Okay. Player one. What will it be? Okay, I'm going to take a break from the food and go on to U.S. Geography. Galesburg, seat of this state's Knox County, was the site of a Lincoln-Douglas debate. Galesburg, state Knox country, um, county, I'm thinking Ohio. What is Tennessee? Good guess, but that's wrong. Uh, not Tennessee, Galbio, Tennessee, Ohio, oh, it's, uh, Il it's Illinois. It's your turn, player one. Okay. U.S. Geography for 200. A railroad president named Aberdeen, South Dakota for his birthplace in this country. A railroad president named Aberdeen, South Dakota. What is Scotland? Yes. All right. Your choice, player two. U.S. Geography for $300. This largest Oregon city is home to the International Rose Test Gardens. The largest Oregon city. I'm going to... I'm thinking Portland. Oh, I know this stuff already. What will it be, player two? I think I should know it. I'm trying my best, people. Hopkins University in this city is the home of the Lacrosse Hall of Fame. Johns Hopkins University is the city's home of the Cross Hall of Fame. Here is the correct response. What's Baltimore? 
Player two, your turn. Poetry for 100. In Howl, he wrote, I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness. In Howl, he wrote, I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness. Who is Allen Ginsberg? Player two, it's your turn. Okay. Birds for 100. Benjamin Franklin called this national symbol a bird of bad moral character. What is the bald eagle? Hopefully they accept it and not just eagle. That's it. Yes! Six hundred dollars. Alright. Birds for two hundred. The males of this familiar red bird have a black mask around their eyes and bill. Player one? Woodpecker? It's gotta be a woodpecker if you're talking. Wood. What are woodpeckers? Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me! It's a. Ah, oh, you piece of crap. It's your turn, player one. <sighs> Birds for 300. Sailors refer to these large wandering seabirds as goonies. Player three. What, is, what are albatrosses? That's it, exactly. Shoot. Okay, player three. Cheer for Hollywood. Player three. Who's Ray? To be sure. You're not far back now. All right, pick again. Any Indiana. Player three. Who's a Hoosier? Exactly. All right, pick again. Who for 300? They are found below the fetlocks. Player two. What are hooves? That's it. Player two, your turn. Who for 400? Popular in the 1860s, crinolines were a type of this women's fashion. Player two. What was a hoop skirt? Yes. Wow. Nice. This synonym for a hoodlum may be from the last name of an Irish one in 1890s London. Player two. Where's the hooligan? Right you are. All right, pick again. Was poetry for 200. He wrote, sitting by a bush in broad sunlight and stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Player three. It was Stephen Vincent Bennett. Good guess, but no. Nope. There's a lot of game left, so hang in there. Anyone? Who's Robert Frost? All right, pick again. U.S. Geography for $500. Located in Kentucky, it's the site of the U.S. Gold Bullion Depository. Located in Kentucky, it's the site of the U.S. Gold Bullion Depository. Here is the correct response. What is Fort Knox? Darn! Alright, pick again. Maybe I shouldn't pick so much His bad categories. His one sing was originally published in 1867 under the title Inscription. His One Self, I Sing, was originally published in 1867 under the title Anybody? Inscription. Here is the Who was Walt Whitman? All right, pick again. Poetry for $400. Believed written in the 8th century, this heroic old English poem did not appear in print until 1815. Believed in written in the 8th century was the wolf. That's it. Okay. That takes you into second place. Oh, great. I'm in third. All right, player three. I gotta keep up a good lead here. The mallard is one of the most widespread wild species of this bird. 
The mallard is one of the widespread, most widespread Anyone? wild species of this bird. Here is the correct response. <clears throat> Should be getting in most of these categories. Good choice, player three. But so far, I'm not. Birds for 500. A bird's feathers grow out of pits called these. A bird's feathers grow out of pits called these? Anybody? I don't know. What are follicles? It's your turn, player three. We got the $500 categories left. Food facts for 500. This variety meat, the lining of a ruminant stomach, is usually sold blanched and parboiled. Player three. Was the tripe? That's it, exactly. And to finish the board. In the preface to Adonais, Shelley wrote, he died at Rome of a consumption. In the preface to Adonis, Shelley wrote, he died in a role of consumption, who was William Butler's Yeats. No. Too bad. No. Anyone? Who is John Keats? Here is the correct response. Okay. Well, that brings us to the end of the first round. Uh-huh. Let's look at the total scores so far. As usual, I end up with in third place at the end of the first round. And right now, player two it has... $1,300, and player three has $700. All right, it's time for double jeopardy. Let's improve here, Craig. I hope so. Hopefully I can improve. Just hope to get some good categories, but no. Now here are the categories for the double Jeopardy round. Please give me some good ones. Actresses, actresses. 1980s pop music. 80s pop music. Four letter words. Four letter words. Economics. Economics. Whatever. Mythology. Mythology and science. Science. Player one, let's get started. Okay. I will go ahead and pick actors and actresses for 200. This star of Nell and the Silence of the Lambs has a degree in literature from Yale. Player one. Who is... Now, who is Jodie Foster? Okay. I got the first part. Here we go. Correct. All right. It is Jodie... Okay, it's right, Jodie Foster. Again. Okay, actors and actresses for 400, please. As Angela Bennett in this 1995 film, Sandra Bullock found her identity deleted from the information superhighway. Okay, now this one's easy. This one was too. This one's too easy for me. The net. Because I've seen this movie before. To be sure. That takes you into second place. All right. All right, pick again. Actors and actresses for 600. He had a role on TV's Dallas before starring in films like Seven and Seven Years in Tibet. Oh, okay. Player one. This is something I should know. Who's Brad Pitt? If you're talking about Seven Years in Tibet, it has to be Brad Pitt. No, not Brady. Brad, no. Okay, let's space the thing. Brad Pitt, thank you. You are correct. All right, pick again. 800. Answer. Why the Daily Double? Player one, please make a wager. Okay. I'm only going to wager. Oh, do I want to wager 600? I don't know. Nah, not wager. Uh, just four hundred dollars. She earned an Oscar nomination for starring in The Rose and an <laughs> Emmy nomination for playing Mama Rose in Gypsy. Player uh, uh Bat Midler. I hope it's not Bat Midler. Not better. Bat Midler. Yes, 
<sighs> wow. He played the Joker in 1989's Batman, and in 1994 turned into a wolf. I've seen a preview for Wolf, and it is Jack Nicholson. Uh, that's what I get for having so many Columbia Tristar tapes. Having a lot, I meant. I, mean, I don't have. I don't have too much. Oh, who cares? I should stop wasting time. Why yes. All right. All right. Make Three thousand dollars. All right. I'm gonna try 80s pop music for 200. Papa Don't Preach was a hit for Madonna, and Father Figure was a hit for this singer. Who is George Michael? Yes. All right. All right, pick again. 1980s pop music for 400. Christopher Cross's song, Think of Laura, became a hit after it was featured on this daytime soap. Okay, I don't know this one. Think of Laura, Christopher Cross. What is General Hospital? Of course. All right, pick again. 1980s pop music for 600. Why are you giving me the dearly doll? Oi! It's one thing I don't like. It's when people give me daily doubles. Just one, two hundred dollars. In 1983, this group had its first number one hit in the U.S. with "Every Breath You Take." Take a look at your monitor. I, you know what? I guess I should have bet more. Cause Sting is in that picture. Player one. <sighs> oh, but I don't know who the. You know, I should. I should be glad. I just don't know. I don't know. Mm, regrettably, no. Here is the who are the police? Okay, I don't know why you name a band that, but okay. Four letter words for 200. It's pretty apparent this is the beneficiary of a will. Player one? I'm going to say a hair. That's right. All right, pick again. Four letter words for 400. Groucho said he wouldn't belong to one that would accept him as a member. Wait, what is a club? That's correct. You've got a commanding lead. Hey, I try my best and try and... Hey, I'm trying my best and just guessing. I, I'm just taking my best guess. Six letter words for $600. The crop of a bird. Something may get stuck in yours. The crop of a bird. Something may get stuck in yours. What is the crawl? Okay. Alright, pick again. A long story chronicling the history of a family. Like the Forsyths. Player one? I'm going to say what is a saga. Be sure. All right, pick again. Four thousand. Four letter words. Someone who's described as Nasut has a large one of these features. Someone who's described as a Nasut has a large one of these features. Here is the correct response. What is a nose? Okay. All right, pick again. All right. I'm going to take a guess and say night. 1980s pop music for our 800. According to the title of a Tears for Fears hit, everybody wants to do this. Player two. What is rule the world? That's right. All right. Player two, your turn. Economics for 200. It's the unit of currency of the most populous country in North America. Player one. What is a dollar?
Yes, indeed. All right. Player one, it's your turn. Okay. Just stick with the $200 categories for now. Microbacterium tuberculosis is one of the organisms this process kills in milk. Player two? Was homogenization? Wrong. I don't know. Microbacterium tuberculosis? Here is the correct response. What is pasteurization? Okay. Player one? All right. S science for 400. Like humans, the red vented bulbul bird needs a dietary source of this vitamin, also called ascorbic acid. Either vitamin A, vitamin C, it's either vitamin C or vitamin A. I'm going to go with vitamin C first. If, if vitamin C is not right, then I'm going to say vitamin A. That's correct. All right, never mind. It is vitamin C. All right, pick again. Science for 600. Boiling bones and hides convert the protein collagen to this food stuff. Boiling bones and... Player two? What is gelatin? Yes. All right, contestant two. Science for 800. Horseshoe crabs and coelacanth fish are considered living ones of these. What are fossils? Living fossils, of course. Mm, Darn it! No. Went too fast. What are fossils? Should have completed it first. That was my fault, people. I'm sorry. Mythology for 200. Some say this woman of Troy married Paris' brother, Deiphobus, after Paris' death. Player two? Who is Helen of Troy? To be sure. Okay. All right, pick again. Poseidon's son, Polyphemus, was one of these one-eyed creatures. What is a cyclops? Player one? Right. All right. Player one, it's your turn. All right. Mythology for 600. These half equine creatures became uncontrollably lascivious when they drank wine. These half equine creatures became uncontrollably lascivious when they drank wine. Who are the centaur? Okay, test of one. All right, I'm going to go with mythology for 800. In Norse myth, Fenris, one of these lupine animals, has jaws so huge they stretch from heaven to earth. Player one? I'm going to say a wolf. Is it a wolf? I'm going to guess and say what is a wolf. That's it, exactly. All right. All right. $5,400. Thousand. Modi and Magni were the two sons of this god of thunder by Yarnsaxa, one of his wives. Who is Thor? He's the god of thunder. Yes. It is Thor, obviously. No, not Thornton. Not Thornton. Just Thor. Yes. All right, pick again. All right, science for a thousand now. Economics for 400. In 1990, about two-thirds of Americans over 65 relied on this for over half their income. I'm going to say, what is Social Security? I did not press R, I press S. All right, sixty-eight hundred. Pick again. You can average for six hundred. The Laffer, the Phillips, and the Lorenz are examples of these lines used by economists. Oh no! Here is the correct response. 
What are curves? All right, pick again. Eighteen thousand. No. The high yield, high risk bonds of the nineteen eighties were known by this four letter word. High yield, high risk bonds. What is junk? Yes. All right. All right. Pick again. Nineteen eighties pop music for a thousand. His 1983 hit, Beat It, featured Eddie Van Halen on guitar. Who is Michael Jackson? That's it, exactly. All right. All right, pick again. Science for 1,000. It's the most massive object in our solar system. I'm going... Oh, never mind. I was thinking the sun, by the way. And to finish the board. But player three got it first. The formula to determine this, the CPI, is basically the La Spires index formula. The formula to determine this CPI is basically the La Perdis index formula. Here is the correct response. What is the consumer price index? Alright. That's the end of double jeopardy. Yes. Let's take a look at the scores. Well, I have improved very nicely. I now have $8,600. Player 2 has $2,700. And Player 3 has $1,700. Looks like we're going to have a fight for second place. Yes, we are, Alex. I had some answers I didn't know in the Double Jeopardy round, but whatever. Here's the category for Final Jeopardy. Travel and Tourism. Travel and Tourism. Player three, we have your wager, please. If it's all of it, it's 3400 Player two, your wager, please. If it's all of it, it's 5200 No, 54 I'm sorry. Player one, please make your wager. Go with a win of... No. Sheila, wait. Just go for a win of eight thousand dollars. If I don't know that question. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Thank you, Ox. The graves. Oh wait. The graves of Wild Bill, Hickory, and Calamity Jane can be seen on more Norris Cemetery in this South Dakota city. I don't know. Let's see how everyone is. Thanks, Johnny. Player three, your question? That's right. And your wager was? Oh, it's Deadwood. All 1,700. He goes up to 3,400. So it was Deadwood. Okay. Player two, let's take a look at your question. No. No, sorry. not Buffalo. What's that going to cost you? All of it. Oh, I guess it's just not your day. Wah, 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 wah. Player one, let's take a look at your question. I didn't know the question, so oh, that's my fault. Sorry, that's correct. How much did it cost you? Just six hundred dollars. But I do get to start a new Sometimes run. You get a tough one. With eight thousand dollars to start my brand new PS One run of Jeopardy. Here are the first part of the game is tough, but I try my best. Guess I really improved with some categories that I knew. Even though I didn't know uh, a lot of the answers. See you next time for some another game of Jeopardy. Even though I didn't know some of the answers. But, I really hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, Jeopardy uh, first game run, and I will see you guys for the next one to come. See you guys Here next time. Here are the high scores for all the game modes. That's for me doing a speedrun last year.